so it seems we may have the last laugh when it comes to unfinished business. I feel this could be a soul tie, a close connection, or something that should have been closer. I feel this is something that brings a lot of pain, doubt, or I feel someone could be suffering in silence, wanting to reach out. This is someone who wants to send a friend request after burning a bridge with you. But I feel you may have a good feeling when it comes to someone you know is guilty as charged. I feel you could have a good feeling about someone who is thinking about the things they have done but still hiding in plain sight when it comes to the heartbreak, the chaos they cause. I also feel there is a lot of damage due to the aftermath of how they chose to deal with you. I feel in the aftermath of a situation, someone definitely showed their true colors. Someone showed their true colors in a situation causing something to die and due to someone's rigid games, deadly words, now someone is trying to numb the pain. Someone is worried that they have unfinished business with you. I feel this is someone who knows they broke a soul tie and this is why they are suffering in silence, but also wondering why something had to change. I feel like deep down this is someone who knows exactly why something changed with you. But they're also wondering who's in your ear about it. Because they feel like something is just not you. And you would have never accepted the distance between the two of you. This is someone who feels like you've become ice cold. No stories allowed. This is someone who feels they are a jack of all trades, but they have a lot of skeletons in the closet. This is someone who has a lot of unfinished business, not just with you, but with a lot of situations that have caused a ripple effect where there's a lot of lies that allowed many of you to just let go or even walk away. Whether that's temporary or for good, this is someone who is wanting to plead their case because they're still holding on. I feel they have wasted a lot of time. I feel the Pandora's box is about to be unloaded. Something is about to be exposed when it comes to this energy who is about to experience a true power moment when it comes to those they chose to trust. As this is someone who has convinced themselves they owe less than what is owed, this is someone who believes that your distance or you treating them this way is not of your own free will. Mm. This is someone who believes that someone, someone is in your ear or something has taken over your energy when it comes to you compromising or taking them for face value. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. Get some more energy here. Mm. This is someone who thought things would always come together when it comes to you. This is someone who is coming out as a ghost of the past. Someone who is still drawn to you emotionally, spiritually, mentally. This is someone who misses you but is still giving you the silent treatment. This energy is giving you the silent treatment because they know that the both of you are not on the same page due to an argument or them keeping secrets, shattered dreams that have turned into them crying in silence. This is someone who has become very emotional because they know they can't burn away the past of what they have done, bad habits, bad habits, toxic people, or the fact that they never truly said goodbye. This is someone who knows they have a lot to say but they're still emotionally detached and still sitting in a space of denial. I feel this is someone who has a lot of secrets and lies that they don't want to be exposed. This is someone who doesn't want you to see a truth, know a truth. Or they don't want others to reveal that truth to you. I feel like this is someone who is in fear of others exposing or revealing the fact that you deserve better. Yet I also feel some of you have a good feeling that they're about to reach out. They miss you. But I feel a bomb has to drop first. That just might break them in two. I feel this is someone who also has a lot of soul ties that are not connected to this situation with you, but I feel you're directly affected. Mm. This is also unfinished business where you will have the last laugh. 
This is someone who knows they screwed something up. They know that in a situation they can't be tamed or you may have the upper hand, but this is someone who is still wearing a mask when it comes to a truth. Hmm. Still living a double life. So for many of you, this is someone who is still living a double life and this is what they don't want to be exposed to you. But for many of you, something has already been revealed and for some of you, you don't know a lot, but you know enough that you know this is not for you. And I also feel they wish they would have looked at a situation differently. Where I sense they wish they never broke their promises. Because this is someone who is still energetically drawn to you. There is an energetic pull because it's someone who still feels that you are the whole package. It, I feel this is someone who may need the liquid courage to come your way or even ask for forgiveness. As I said, this is someone who is still not over you, but they're worried about the outcome. They're worried about the outcome when it comes to spinning the block. This is someone who is frustrated, full of anxiety, and having a huge transformation when it comes to blaming others, being bitter and getting the wrong advice from others because it's definitely clashing with what they know and what they feel they should be doing because they're still doing a lot of things behind your back for many of you you could care less with to what they're doing as in so many ways you may feel they deserve what they get while others you may still pray for someone who just might need every prayer they can get as I said before, this is someone who is still doing a lot of things behind your back, but it's only causing a lot of chaos because they're still breaking all the rules. Hmm. Wow. Someone is still breaking all the rules when it comes to toxic connections, bad habits, hmm. and realizing the chaos through all the chaos. They can't burn away what they've done or what they've gotten themselves into. They're just crying in silence, having arguments with others, and still keeping secrets, trying to numb the fact that they have shattered their own dreams. This is why someone is giving you mixed signals. Even if you reach out, this is someone who won't even pick up. It's almost like a cat and mouse game, even though someone wants to hear from you but they don't really know what to say to you. I feel this is someone who is still breaking all the rules. This is why you're not on the same page and they've become someone you used to know or someone from the past. Still sending mixed signals because they've shattered something that they know cannot be easily fixed. This is someone who is keeping a lot of secrets and this is why they're still sitting in a space of chaos and disruption. There's a lot of arguments because they're still bent on something. Pretending there's someone they're clearly not. This is someone who is still running from their fears and their insecurities. Trying to control something because they know they're not happy. This is someone who has been blindsided by something. But also knowing they need to make a decision. But in so many ways, the game is already over. Someone is just their own worst obstacle when it comes to relationships and close bonds. This is why they're still sitting in heartbreak and misery, still blindsiding themselves when it comes to not getting what they want, never being satisfied, and never truly letting go of the negativity. I feel this is someone who is going to have to hit rock bottom to truly let go of some things, or even tell the truth and for some of you you may never truly receive the full truth from someone who is wanting to take a lot of what they've done to the grave let's get some more energy here i feel like this is someone who really doesn't want others to be in your ear about that uh, and they've almost become very obsessive about that uh, they're in their head about it, but also in their head about the chaos. They know something is over and they need to make a decision, but they're still sitting in some very toxic ways, going through some arguments, turbulence, wondering who's talking, who's telling you what's going on, so much so that it's pushing them to want to reach out to you. Hmm. But they feel like you're acting cold or keeping a grudge because they're blocked out. 
So for many of you, this is someone who's fishing for energy, asking anyone or seeking for any type of information when it comes to you. They feel like they're going to have to force their way in to even show you they care or get some more information, but they feel some sense of rejection. But I feel due to their bad habits or the fact that their their games are not working out, they feel like they have to chase. But deep down, I don't feel like they truly want to. This is someone who really doesn't like the fact that they've been blocked out. This is why they're trying to cope with it by claiming that you're acting cold or keeping a grudge. But truthfully, I feel you're unfazed. You're unfazed by someone's chaos because they're always breaking the rules. This is why they're blocked. And this is why the game is over. Hmm. This energy doesn't like the fact that you've changed or something has changed about you. They don't like the fact that they are being ignored. They are feeling lonely, but I feel this is someone who's feeling this way because of their low IQ. And also due to the fact that they know deep down they crossed the line and they put themselves in this position to deal with it. This is why someone is wanting to low-key reach out. They have a hurt ego, bruised energy, where they're trying to fake it or dealing with energies who have a fake smile. This is why someone's wanting to kiss up to you, knowing they abuse their position by talking about you or allowing others to do so. This is why someone is all in their head about what others are saying to you about them, because they know what they have allowed others to say about you. This is someone who wants to make something right when it comes to family issues or how they took something physically, mentally, emotionally robbed you of something by being an imposter, a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is why they're extra triggered and wondering what others are telling you or what you're seeing about them. Someone is wondering why you're running or even moving in silence. This is what they're thinking about or reflecting on. Someone is reflecting on something, but they know without a doubt you're fed up. Wanting change or just wanting your peace because you know you're dealing with someone who has now gained this bad reputation. Someone has definitely earned this bad reputation when it comes to you by breaking promises and being reckless because at this point they're really curious about you. But they're also wondering what others are saying. They feel like the people that you trust can't be trusted. But they have no facts when it comes to that. They're just making things up because they become a spiritual hater who's going through a lot of cause and effect, trauma, bad karma. I feel like this is someone who is definitely affected and having side effects for what they've done through life and also to you. Causing a lot of heartbreak and drama where there shouldn't be. They also know something is played out. Someone knows something is played out and this is why you're not interested hmm. or clearly unbothered because someone is always trying to play this, run or chase a game with you. But I feel now that they feel you have moved on or clearly dodged the bullet, they want you back. But I feel they could be wasting time giving you some type of dirty offer. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who's just wanting to lighten their their load when it comes to their guilty conscience because they're paranoid. There's a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia, nightmares. I feel like this is someone who's confused to their stare tactics and how they chose to treat you. Someone's only reflecting because they can't have what they think they want and what they really want from you is your attention but I feel they're stressed and overthinking things. Hmm. Overanalyzing. Because they know what you feel and what you speak is honestly the truth. As this is someone who wants you to reach out, but they feel like you think they have bad intentions, but that's only because this energy has yet to fess up and claim that you're the one holding the grudge, but they're the ones that's abusing their position and holding back. They're the ones being cold and ignoring the truth, trying to blindside you with an I love you or everything but the truth. 
but I feel this is someone who is getting a bruised ego in return. And this is why they're somewhat lashing out at you, creating issues where there shouldn't be. But I feel they're also in their head about their reputation. So let's get some more energy here. As I said before, this is someone who wants you to reach out to them. And for many of you, you could be thinking about it. To others, it's the furthest thing from your mind. Especially right now that you are focused on your stability, your healing. And since this energy is only being consistent and hurting or confusing you. Let's get some more energy here. Let's get this now. Getting more energy. Getting readings. So for me, you, I feel like you've been very intuitive when it comes to this energy. And for the most part, someone knows they truly screwed something up. Because they have massive regrets. Someone has massive regrets for one minute their way because they know by now you're truly fed up with playing nice or allowing someone to have things their way. Because at this point, they really feel like they screwed things up by backtracking or stabbing you in the back, cheating, deceiving, playing mind games, trying to love on you. This is someone who knows they rejected you and caused this firestorm. Now they're dealing with loss, mental health. Mm. Wow, this is someone who's going through mental health issues because they still want things their way. They're still being selfish, stubborn, and arrogant, still working through a sense of pride. Mm. And this is why they're still going through drama and karma. Mm. And even heartbreak, bad news when it comes to someone who is going through a lot of guilt, embarrassment, and shame. I feel this is someone who knows they went the wrong way. Mm. Because they're in too deep when it comes to a lot of bumps in the road, heavy cycles of lessons, triggers, karmic ties. This energy is definitely under a lot of pressure. I feel this is someone who is under pressure when it comes to closing cycles. Yet they're still juggling life, responsibilities, and even the thought of you. As they're wanting you to put in the extra effort to understand their needs. And this is why things are in a space where things are just going round and round. Someone is still just repeating cycles. Wanting things their way. When... You're completely over it. And the fact that you've turned your back, they're trying to cope. But I feel love has now become a sense of hate. Because they really don't want to miss you. But the fact that you've seen their true colors, I feel it's just hard not to see at this point. As this is someone who's just wanting you to understand the little effort that they have put in. Even though you both know they don't truly care to understand you or the pain they have caused if they still want you to assume the best rather than the worst when it comes to them. Yet I sense in so many ways this energy is still repeating cycles and triggered by the emotions of, of others and what others see of them, think of them, but I feel they are about to experience some bad news and this is why there are some bumps ahead. This is someone who is very emotional behind the scenes, but this is someone who wouldn't admit that to anyone, not even you. But I feel time is running out when it comes to anxiety, decisions, and even what is unhealed, misunderstood, or left behind. It just seems this is someone who wants you to go the extra mile for them in some type of way. <sighs> even if it's ignoring your intuition, this energy wants you to work on this situation with them, even if you know they're bad news. Hmm. This is someone who wants you to work something out with them, even though they claim they, they were busy. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who is just being a jackass. Hmm. But I feel at this point they know they screwed all this up by trying to be a thug or fit in. Hmm. Now they're wanting to send a message, thinking they can sweet talk their way out of this because at this point they know that you are a gift or many of you are stepping into your spiritual gifts. Mm. This prayer here, someone is trying to do a lot of side hustles. Someone is trying to do a lot of things to create the illusion that things are fine. They're also trying to keep their 
energy busy. There's responsibilities that they didn't foresee coming here. I feel like this is someone who doesn't want you to know what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to their past, what they're holding back, and definitely what they're hiding. They're also trying to think of some things to kind of get you to, to let your guard down. So this is why they're reflecting on the past, either to use it against you or use it to soften your heart. This is someone who doesn't want you to get too comfortable being single or feeling better without them. This is someone who still sees you as a twin flame energy, but I feel many of you are stepping into a higher light of confidence, bossing up, whether, whether that is in career, stability, light, love. Many of you are finding a sense of security, closure, hmm. through reflection, soul searching, and separation. I feel you could be wish fulfillment for someone who still sees you as a deep connection, but I feel you're tired of someone being fake, making things up, when they should just tell the truth with no regrets. But someone's thinking about how they chose to say goodbye. And for many of you, so are you. As they know, they truly had no reason to break the bond with you. The content being off and on, especially when it comes to a fairy tale, some type of illusion where someone is all in their feelings about you moving on or giving yourself more affection, love, security. Because someone definitely sees you as a twin flame energy. Because deep down, someone knows they are not happy. They see you as a deep connection. They see you as family. Please take it how it resonates. Someone regrets the fact that something has to end, but they know they can't tell the truth, not the full truth about their secrets, their chaos, their ego, their downward spiral, how something became so big after putting on a show or pretending that something wasn't major, pretending something was so little. Because someone knows that they are not happy, especially on how they chose to say goodbye to this connection. Because now that they are blocked, or the fact that you let go, or you feel free, they feel like they can no longer string something along. Someone's definitely in their feelings, they know they screwed something up, because they're taking the time to heal. Now this energy is under pressure. This is someone who is under pressure feeling like the bond they broke with you won't be easily repaired. And this is why they're in their head about who's talking to you or the direction you're taking in this season. Hmm. Because someone knows that they were reckless when it comes to love. Wow, because now they can't sleep. They're worried. They were playing things in their mind. This is why they're paranoid about Who's talking to you? Or who you're talking to? Hmm. They're thinking about the events. They're thinking about you. They think about how they ran and how now, nowadays they feel trapped. Trapped by their secrets, just trapped by lessons or karmic energy. There's a divide when it comes to you and this energy. Hmm. Wow. But I feel in so many ways they are still living this toxic lifestyle hmm. because they know they can't give you the truth. As I said before, someone's going to have to discover some things by going through an awakening. This is an awakening of the soul where their ego, and its ego is going to have to take a nosedive. Hmm. I feel that's going to happen through legal matters, addictions. There's some shady business going, going on behind the scenes that just might drive them crazy. And for some of you, not everyone, they could be dealing with a psycho. Mm. Someone who won't let go, and this is where the shady energy is coming from. They feel someone has put a spell on them, and they feel like it's too late to tell you they miss you. They love you. This is why they're worried about what others is going to say about them. It's connected to a third party for some of you, and for others, it's connected to a lot of secrets that they thought they were going to take to the grave. I feel this could be shocking news. There's 
a lot of situations where the, the law or police are involved, someone is unemployed, but also going through a spiritual awakening where they're going through a downward spiral, but something had to end. And it could be connected to family. But as I said before, they're under pressure. Time is running out and someone's gonna have to heal. And they're gonna have to do more than pray to do it because this is someone who mostly screwed up when saying goodbye to you. And they're gonna have to do more than claim they love you. They're gonna have to prove it mm -hmm. through actions and speaking the truth. Because they know they're not happy. Everyone knows this. And this is clearly obvious to you and everyone else. And for some of you, you may not even see it because this energy pretends that they don't even care. But in so many ways, they do. They were just hoping the emotional history of this connection would save them. Hmm. Bringing things together somehow. But they never thought in a million years they will be blocked. This is someone who never thought that you would clearly let go of this connection, but I feel what's done is done. You're tired of going round and round when it comes to someone who is always putting you in a space of heartbreak through their addictions, karmic issues, and lessons that they fail to learn. But I feel many things have been illuminated to many of you when it comes to someone who is trapped in their own head, when it comes to a separation. Hmm. Criminal activity, secrets. This is why they're worried. This is why they're scared. And whatever they're running from is also connected to this bad news. Hmm. Someone's missing you, regretting the fact that they pushed you to this space to turn your back. For many of you, this is someone who turned their back so that you would react. Now they're confused, reflecting and paranoid, hoping you haven't forgot about the good times, but I feel the good times have only been drowned out by the chaos, the betrayal, and the secrets that they still choose to keep. Because due to their lies and the fake smiles and fake activity, many of you just don't see a lot of good or a lot of love in the energy that they choose to bring. Because it's really hard to remember the good through all the chaos and confusion. Let's get some more energy here. Confirmation, Holy Spirit. Confirmation. Wow. Wow. So someone is definitely distracted by some things. And they don't want you to look down on them. And this is why they're trying their best to stay busy. Not think about some things. They don't want to lose, but they also feel like they will never be able to forget you. Hmm. They regret taking you for granted, but they also want this attention. They know they were coming from a very low vibrational space, but I feel this is someone who still has some, some things to discover, and this is why there's a lot of bumps ahead. Hmm. Someone regrets treating you the way that they did. Hmm. But they didn't fight for it. They didn't show that to you. Someone didn't show you that they had any type of remorse, any type of regret. And in so many ways, it almost felt like they thought it was a game. Wow. This is why you feel like they took your kindness for a weakness. And this is why you're just not feeling it anymore. But in so many ways, they're feeling empty inside for what they choose to block out, what they choose to accept, and what they choose to ignore. Hmm. Someone didn't choose you because of their trust issues. This is someone who's still in between worlds. I feel like this is someone who is in between worlds, and this is why you feel like they just don't even care. This is why you're fed up with trying, compromising, and they're just wondering if you still care. This is someone who is wondering if others are trying to convince you you deserve better or you're better without them. This is someone who wants your trust. But in so many ways, many of you feel like they will only cause you more heartbreak, tears, betrayal. Because in so many ways, that is all they have shown you in the past. I feel like this is someone who wants to reach out and make something right. 
may even plead or beg in some type of way, but as I said before in this reading, this is someone who will not give you the full truth, even though they know they want to make something right with you. This is someone who wants you to reach out because they really don't know what to expect if they reach out first. As I said before, they have a lot to say, but really don't know how to put it in words. Mm. So they have said nothing to you. And this is why you feel they will only bring you more tears, more pain. Mm. But in so many ways, they feel like they need to hear from you. So much so that it might push them to reach out. For many of you, you feel like there's a disconnect when it comes to this energy because of the, the betrayal. I feel like it was very intense. And you already know they haven't been honest with you. But it's only because they don't want to be judged by you. For many of you, this energy is very uncomfortable with the fact that they know that the tables have turned. And the fact that you don't trust them like you used to, it definitely irritates them. As they feel your silence is definitely due to what is seen and perceived about them through others or through this new idea of how you feel about yourself. For many of you, you feel some type of way about this energy that you can't really figure out. But I feel whatever you're feeling, you're definitely right about it. I feel whatever you think or feel about this energy deep down in your gut, you're completely right. They're emotionally unavailable. Even if they desire your energy or they think about you often, they know they need you or they're better with you around them. Or for some of you, they just might need your help. For many of you, you're right about this energy just needing you, wanting your resources, wanting more, your, more of your attention, or just wanting more access to your resources. Someone needs to heal what is broken. And this is why many of you just don't feel right about this. Because whatever you feel, you're completely right. The, the fact that this energy is emotionally unavailable or just not being honest with you. You know something needs to be healed before something gets right. This is why many of you are just focusing on yourself. To win, to fully understand or allow this energy to understand that the games that they play will only lead to a dead end because playing with your heart is only games of a fool. Because in many ways you're tired of this energy bringing the worst out of you or even playing games with your heart because you're trying, you're tired of trying to understand someone who just under, doesn't understand the way of love. You just can't figure out why they are so in love with drama because they can never seem to do something right and this is why you don't trust them this is why you feel their energy is suspect because they may have some issues that they need to balance out before they earn your respect because due to all the chaos and confusion of them being in between worlds, this energy has lost themselves through reckless connections and being naive to finances and love. I feel this is someone who is mentally stressed in between worlds and needing to focus on their financial ways of being. Because as long as they don't feel good enough for you, they will always disrespect you. Because as long as they are confused by their insecurities, they will always see your love and your help as a sense of disrespect, which in turn, they will always disrespect you. For many of you, this is someone who wants their way, but as I said before, this is someone who needs to heal their chakras. Because having things their way this time just won't work out. This is someone who needs to come to peace with what they've done so they can truly tell the truth about it. Because as long as they are hiding from the truth, they'll continue to hide the truth about them. This is someone who knows that there's a lot of bumps ahead, but they're also seeking attention for some strange way, which is unfortunately causing delays in who they should become, as well as who they should be. Let's see some here. For many of you, this is someone who knows they chose wrong and they know they're a jackass for 
the choices that they made. But cycles are about to close when it comes to karmic ties. And this is why someone's in massive regret for the choices they have made. Not just because they miss you or they need your attention or they crave your energy or your resources, but also because they hope by connecting themselves to you that somehow their misery will somehow end. As this is someone who is definitely reflecting and very irritated by the fact that you have chosen distance hmm, over the chaos. Hmm. Peace over the cycles of someone going round and round and talking in circles. Hmm. You're in the four swords energy here. Queen of Pentacles possibly standing on your word as well as trying to stack your pentacles. As I sense the cycle is also closing for you. I feel you have got, gotten through a lot of things that you now see the lessons in and for many of you, you're in the stages of healing from the pain, while someone is wanting and hoping to replot their course, wanting you to be compassionate hmm, while you're taking care of self, while someone is manifesting your energy, wanting you to reach out, because if you don't, they will. This is wishful thinking for someone who is very uncertain, especially when it comes to the position they have put themselves in, as well as the secrets they keep. Hmm. Someone knows that they have definitely ruined something that was not only meant to be, but also giving them peace. Because in so many ways, I feel like they have already experienced some major losses when it comes to their insecurities or their harsh words or actions when it comes to you. Push you to be more clear about what you see when it comes to them. You're no longer on the fence about someone taking your kindness for a weakness. Wow. Or someone's no longer on the no longer on the fence about seeing you for who you are, hmm. not realizing they need to release this mass on the fence because of options. I feel this is someone who's missing opportunities, war cups, energy, still placing blames, not being accountable when it comes to heart-based decisions. There's still deception when it comes to someone who is about to experience a tower moment. This is demolishment of someone who is going to try to wait till the dust settles when it comes to their finances, when it comes to playing the blame game, when it comes to craving your attention. This is someone who wants to reach out, send some type of text message, but I feel it's going to be after the dust settles. This is someone who's going to have to be accountable. Hmm. Accountable for the low vibrational energy of their self-imposed bondage through deception, lies. Someone is still not assessing their past actions, but I feel they soon will be because due to the games they play, they gave you nothing to work with. Hmm. Two of Cups in reverse. There is no emotional fulfillment when it comes to someone who is trying to lighten their low ten of wands energy. Page of Cups, this is someone who is just a poor communicator. And this is why they're trying to wait until the dust settles. They don't want to just wait until the dust settles to replot their cor course because they know they are lost or they're just a jackass. But this is someone who knows that they are a poor communicator. And they just might be trying to make it make sense before they reach out to you. Because this is someone who's still sitting in the night of source energy in the reverse. Where they're still not being logical about situations when it comes to the past or the present. Which I feel will definitely cause a death or an ending or harsh ending in the future. You're coming out as the Empress energy or Emperor energy. Please take it how it resonates with you. I see light and love when it comes to your energy. You are definitely coming from a pure space where there's unconditional love or you may have given someone more credit than they should have had. This is someone who needs to be brutally honest when it comes to your energy. Someone needs to cut through the fog here with the Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. This is someone who clearly needs to communicate, but they're not. I feel this is someone who's just not communicating because something has just become too much. 
As I said before, you're dealing with a poor communicator here with the Page of Cups energy where something had to end or something new to begin or rebuild. But someone's needing to work on their communication when it comes to you or work on communication when it comes to affairs of the heart because someone's needing to assess how they chose to deal with something because in so many cases, it's not what they did, but how they chose to do it. Yet, as I said before, this is someone who is truly irritated by the fact that they know they're going to have to bring in the King of Wands energy and be brutally honest with you. Transparent. This is someone who just doesn't communicate well to anyone, not just you. This is someone who is just doing a lot and saying it loudly, but still saying very little. This is someone who is having massive regrets and wanting to replot their course when it comes to a karmic energy, but there is a lot of head when it comes to this energy. Ten of Swords says the worst isn't over. Someone needs to communicate something to bear the past and need to, needing to be brutally honest about it to cut through the fog. And if they don't, I feel it will definitely affect the, pe the past, well, the present, as well as the future, because they have already screwed up the past. This is someone who is still not mastering their logic, especially when it comes to communicating or giving some type of offer through deception. Someone is needing to lighten their load through the truth and even respect and unconditional love when it comes to you. But I feel it's going to take a, a tower moment where someone to express something when it comes to a heartbreak decision, because if they don't, they will definitely four cups lose that opportunity. I feel this is someone who is caught in a web of lies when it comes to playing this blame game. This Queen of Cups energy is letting me know that you have always been compassionate, but some things, some things just had to change. This is why you could be on the fence about something, or this could also be their energy. Please take it how it resonates, but there are some obstacles here, especially when it comes to a fool. I feel someone is definitely a fool trying to place some type of blame on you. You're coming out as the Queen of Cups energy, someone who is compassionate, but also intuitive when it comes to as someone who is always fake smiling or putting up some type of front with you. This is someone who is going through a space of judgment, an awakening while you're going through a new phase of life. This is someone who is wanting something from you, but they also feel the worst isn't over because they're still going through a lot of obstacles due to missed opportunities or opportunities that they chose to play with. This is someone who is going through a sense of judgment. They're wanting a mutual exchange here with the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords energy. This is someone who is going through a space of mental clarity but still hiding a space of truth. This is why the worst is not over when it comes to communication with this energy. Ten of Swords energy is letting me know Ace of Cups, something is still unspoken when it comes to affairs of the heart and love. This is someone you're going to have to be mindful of, especially when it comes to communication because this is someone who's still telling themselves lies when it comes to you because they're still refusing to deny what their heart already knows. Yet personally, I feel the worst isn't over here with the Ten of Swords energy because for many of you, I feel like Many of you have already healed a part of you that used to care. And this is what truly irritates their soul. And if they haven't figured it out yet, it will be a devastating revelation when it comes to them. As I sense the real shock is them knowing that you will no longer be sacrificing or fixing things that you never broke. As I see you putting in the work or doing exactly what you said you would do. Which in turn sends some type of ripple effect of them regretting the fact that they ever tried to play petty games just to be right. As I sense some type of injustice or a tower moment just might send them running back straight to you. As I said before, you're dealing with a fool who has yet to realize that they are their own obstacle. Someone has yet to really understand that they're breaking their own heart by playing games with you or, or playing the games, pretending that everything is coming up roses when someone is needing to lighten their load and heal their own heart and communicate the truth to you. And for so many of them, time has already run out for a fool. 
someone who has already lost their respect and for some of you your heart after all this energy has put you through but as i said before it's painfully obvious that they regret walking away because they're still trying to gain the strength tame their demons because nothing about their life will ever be the same until they find the time to be honest with self to be honest with anyone else yet unfortunately for them they're still making choices that cause you to look at them in a certain way as it seems they have intentionally tried to hurt you with words and actions that they now have to account for because in this season they won't have their way as I feel this is someone who walked away from you who is now feeling foolish for their choices and this is why they're reflecting or worried about who is talking to you or your perspective when it comes to them. I feel like this is someone who is thinking about you and also thinking about what you think of them. Hmm. I also feel like they could be trying to lighten their load by copping out, trying to place some type of blame on you, claiming that you're manifesting against them or sending some type of negativity their way. When in so many ways I feel it's the other way around as they have tried to punish you for the things they have done. Because now that their reckless ways has them looking foolish for walking away or being cold, this is someone who is creating obstacles for themselves by being inconsistent and petty with you. For many of you, this is someone who wants to replot their course, but they don't want to reassess their issues. This is someone who is trying to reach out or they're trying to assess their options, but nothing is making any sense for someone who doesn't have a clear mind or they still have a heavy load of insecurities. Mm. No sovereignty, uh, no fresh start. Two of Wands energy. This is someone who feels like you don't see them as a yin to your yang anymore because they feel to get rooted in their energy or the fact that you now know your worth. For many of you, there's a lot of things that you don't know, but I feel you're coming into a situation where you know you deserve better, and this is why this is someone who is just not used to what you've become or the new you. This is why they're stuck in a space of reflecting, trying to deal with their emotions, trying to become a better communicator, or trying to make things make sense when I feel in so many ways it would never make any sense for someone who has done some things that was completely senseless. Because as I said before, this is someone whose reckless ways has definitely put them in a position of definitely looking like a fool. And this is something that they're not used to. They're used to having Six of Pentacles, a mutual exchange. Hmm. I feel things were one-sided when it comes to transformation, hangman energy. Wow. Wow. I feel a lot of you put a lot of energy, love into this connection, but someone's always in the energy of just wanting things their way or just wanting what they could get. But I feel they soon got lost in their childish ways, and this is why they're feeling like a fool. Yet I sense once they truly understand and see what they truly lost, They'll be deeply hurt by the fact that no one else can love them better. Which is the very reason they'll be pushed to a sense of obsession, wanting you to reach out, but eventually reaching out to you. Hangman hey energy, this could be a transformation or a disaster. It depends on their energy or the fact or, or you reading their energy of someone who is trapped in their own thoughts. Eight of swords, nine of swords. Someone's only for your energy, but still playing hide and seek, or this is someone who is coming out as Jekyll and Hyde, someone who's in emotionally imbalanced and being strategic. One way, one minute, and the next, this energy is stepping out in another way, where there is no peace, but just the energy of a fool. Where, for many of you, it's a really big downgrade. Where I sense it's only a matter of time before you see this clown. Hmm. I feel like it's only a matter of time before they reach out to you. Yet I sense this time, they're the ones who need to be conscious. Because your intuition is on high alert for their bullshit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.